I was out at the Wheatland Irrigation District this morning and we stopped by the Joe Drop. And it's one of those places that look very technically feasible for a small hydro facility. There was a drop there during the irrigation season. There's a fair amount of water between 80 and 240 cubic feet per second flowing through there and a distribution line nearby. But I know you did some basic, we'll call it pre-feasibility analysis of this. And it doesn't look like it's economically feasible. Well, why is that? Could you walk us through the process? Yeah, there are several factors that play into that. One, irrigation season is typically five to seven months out of the year. You're not flowing water year round. So you don't have the chance to generate electricity year round. That's right. Therefore, you have a small window to generate electricity. So you have to generate a lot of electricity to pay for the times when it's not operating. So another factor uh, at this particular site is, is, the, is the little bit high ca capital cost to develop hydropower. Um, you want to be able to sell that power to a market at a rate to where you can pay for the loan, the term of the loan. In this application, it just wasn't quite there. So the $1.1 million construction cost, and I know you use the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation estimation tool there. Of course, there could be a lot of variation in what it costs to install, but at that rough estimate, they couldn't sell the electricity for enough to be able to cover a note at, say, 4% from the State Loan and Investment Board? Yeah, that's right. I, I figured they needed about 8 to $0.10 cents a kilowatt hour to make this project feasible to where they could carry the note on the loan. That's a little high for what we've seen. Typical costs are around $0.04 cents per kilowatt hour. Now it varies with each utility. 8 to 10 is on the real high end. So if they could either get a higher rate or if they could figure out a way to build it at a lower cost, that's what would make this type of project viable. So at this time, it'd be something to remember they have the potential there, but maybe leave it alone for now. Yeah, I may just want to let that water flow by for now. Now, there would be a reason for them to do it if there were other infrastructure needs. For instance, if that drop was crumbling, if they needed to put something in a pipeline, then it perhaps would make sense for them. Yeah, we, we look at on irrigation districts too, you want to look at uh, the existing infrastructure. If you have a drop there that, that a district wants to put it in a pipe instead of an open channel, uh, that can save costs a lot. You know, roughly 50% of the total project costs are attributed to the civil infrastructure and then the rest of the 50% is the turbine generator electrical equipment itself. So if you want to put in a drop, replace a drop structure with a pipe already, then it's a little bit lesser expense just to stick a turbine on the end of that pipe. And it could be more feasible. So the irrigation district wants to remember that this opportunity is there, but wait until they're doing other work, perhaps. Yeah, yep, that'd be a good recommendation.